Ugh, I hate this. Hello, welcome to Kyle Paints 2021 Studio Maintenance Edition, I guess. So over the years, I've discovered that drawers and I really don't get along. Once I put something in a drawer, it's erased from memory and I forget I have it and it goes to die and it doesn't get used. When I'm in the middle of something, like say a painting, I will go to a drawer, take the tools I need, place them on the floor in front of me, use them, and I'll start to develop a pile, and then I'll start to lose things, and then I can't find them, go back to the drawer, pull it out, use it, back in the pile, pile gets worse, it's a disgusting mess, and then I get to a point where I can't get work done because I can't find anything, I don't have anything, and there's a mess everywhere and no space. It's terrible. I need to come up with a system that works for me. I love this drawer system I have right here because it holds a lot and I can see everything so I don't forget that I have it. So where the stuff in here, even though this is transparent, it's just, just mentally it's forgotten, it doesn't work for me. This does. I got some wood here. I start the process by listing everything in my pile of crap on the floor and trying to come up with a reasonable storage arrangement based on how frequently I use it and my own ergonomics while I'm using it. So stuff that's used free, uh, infrequently can live at the bottom or stuff that's heavy. Stuff that's light and I use all the time can go at the top and why not use my palette as the surface because it makes sense and I can use the underneath as a less less urgent storage. Once I got to that point I started realizing all the odd complexities and frustrations in this design. It would require tools that I don't have. So I started trying to simplify the overall design. Once I reached that stage I started trying to work out the overall structure on how it will actually be strong and fit together. So I'm not very good at building stuff in real life so I kind of like to use this as a mental um, problem solving thing. I try to almost build the whole thing on paper looking for these kind of challenges. So here I've come up with a very simple structure, very simple quick to build, nothing complicated, and then I can add all the storage compartments and stuff in later and just screw them to the side because it's all made out of wood. And finally I even try to work out the build order, the actual order that I should cut things and build things. So it looks like everything will fit on the 14 by 18 base. And at the height, I plan to have this thing. That'll give me lots of access to the water. Yeah, it looks like that should be a comfortable height for washing. My ultimate goal for this space, which uh, this particular project is uh, not going to solve completely on its own, is to uh, get rid of this resin shelf in the middle kind of rotate that and put it where it is and then have a little more space in there possibly for some uh, rolling carts or something else but yeah I just want to get that the hell out of here reorganize resort lots of room lots of room back here let's get the space usable when you're prototyping foam core and weld bond can be a huge lifesaver I've also got a ton of these old uh, stretcher bars. I used to collect these when I went to Oakhead or Art University because I commuted so I'd have to stretch all my canvases right before class and I could take these on a bundle and actually get them on the train. But uh, I don't really use them anymore so instead of taking up space in my studio or burning them I'm gonna make something out of it. Yay. These edges don't matter so I just use the handsaw Cutting the ends of these will matter, so I'm gonna cut it nice. All right, so those are cut nice. Since I'm doing simple butt joints, the orientation matters a lot for this particular design, so I kinda trace things out, so when I screw it in, there's no uh, mishaps. All right, so these are all measured and cut and ready to go. These, however, are only cut on one end because I'm gonna measure them in place and cut it to fit. Ah, uh, modular storage best thing in the world. Actually coming together not too badly. Alright, measure in place. This is very hard to do. Ah, Okay, camera goes off for this. 
I uh, forgot to account for the thickness of the wood in the pallet sliding in, but uh, fortunately everything is still all right. That is um, more stable than it has any right to be, considering the poor quality of its fabrication and the fact that the glue is not even dry yet, and about 40% of the glue joints are crap. Wow. Casters make everything better. My god, that mud is thick. Nice. Very nice. So now the rest of it will be just coming up with modules and foam core, and these will change rapidly, and when I eventually come up with something that I like, then I'll do it for real and ply, but until then there's no point in um, heavy construction for something that's still a work in progress. So here's the foam core holders, and uh, they all friction fit, so I can um, place them at will, move it around, find what works best for me, and then um, do it, make it permanent when I know it works. I find a lot of the time you plan too much at the beginning, and then you're like a, you're sort of serving the plan, and it just doesn't work. So. Uh, I really like this method of building because it really lets you move things around and play and try things and find what really does work for you. Because what works for me here probably isn't going to work for you because you have different needs for your art, but hopefully seeing my solution here might uh, inspire you to you know, look somewhere else and then you can combine those two things into an even better idea. So you know, get on it. Good luck. Intellectually, I know I want as much empty space here just so I can store that as much as I can and have this as useful as possible. So I might think I want these storage bins whoops, as high up as I possibly can. But with these kind of experiments let me know is if I put a brush in here it's going to be in the way when I go for the pellet. So I'm going to want this a little bit lower and I'm probably going to want to put my uh, short and stubby brushes in there and probably my longer brushes here, where they sit a bit lower. So yeah, prototyping. I've started loading it up. I've come to the conclusion I may have a brush problem. I'm gonna have to probably build a few more of these containers. Have fewer pallet knives than I thought, that's good. But uh, that's all the foam core that I have left, so um, that might be it for today. I wasn't expecting to get this far tonight, but shelf is gone. Don't have a home for the projector though. And the cart. Well, I've got a lot more to go on it, but uh, I'm happy with where I'm at so far for today. So this weekend I spent so much time working on my studio infrastructure that I didn't actually work on any paintings. Well, it's not like I work seven days 70 hours a week and have two art shows coming up this spring. No, that's not the case at all. Oh, what am I going to do with myself? Ugh. Adding this shelf for my paint markers and keys and all that sort of stuff adds a ton of functionality. I find this bar really gets in my way and irritates me, but uh, when I eventually get around to building a wooden version of that, I think these should provide more than enough mechanical support that I could eliminate this entirely, but uh, I'm gonna have to live with this for the time being because foam core and packing tape are not enough. Added another box on the side, fired in some screws for my tape. My paint bags kept falling out so I built this perimeter to uh, hold them in. I was hoping to avoid that, but uh, I couldn't. This is way too many brushes to actually be useful, so I'm just gonna build a little cubby in the back to kind of hide away things that I don't need immediate access to, but don't want to forget that I own. Moments ago, it was a mere roll of tape. Now it's a brush holder. I'm finding myself laboring more and more over every single decision and addition. So I'm going to take that as a sign that it's nearing completion. Further additions will be made when I discover what this is missing through use. Don't pre-plan too much. Go with the flow. You'll be happier that way.